short bowel syndrome uh, is a uh, rare disease that involves uh, functional or anatomical loss of the bowel. So losing part of the bowel, uh, if, it's, uh, if it's a little part, will not um, uh, affect your way of feeding or your nutrition. But if you lose most of the intestine, then you lose your ability to feed and get the nutrients that you need for your body. Uh, there are different types of short bowel syndrome. There are uh, diseases that affect the bowel, so you may preserve the entirety of the bowel, but you may not be able to absorb any nutrients. Or you may undergo surgery and uh, remove the entire or most of the bowel, and then you end up with not enough bowel uh, to grow. There are some people that have catastrophic uh, diseases happening to their bowel, which means that the bowel is completely diseased or dead, let's say, uh, and has to be removed. So, for instance, uh, there's a disease called volvulus, which is where the gut twists on itself and cuts off its own blood supply. And where it's cut off its own blood supply, then that part of the intestine basically dies and has to be removed in order for the patient to survive. When that's happened, then uh, children and adults with this condition might not be able to absorb enough nutrients. There are other diseases, so necrotizing enterocolitis is another major cause of short bowel syndrome in premature infants, which is, um, which is caused by their inability to absorb food properly um, to start with, but then the gut becomes very diseased and inflamed. And lots of these children will have to have uh, various lengths of bowel removed, and some of them, unfortunately, will be left with short bowel syndrome as a result of this. There are treatments where we provide specialised nutrition, um, which can be absorbed a little more e easily, which is dealt with by this short segment of bowel easier, and also designed to try and limit the complications of, uh, of, of providing uh, a treatment. Uh, but in many children, the loss of bowel is so catastrophic that the, uh, the treatments are surgical to try and either lengthen that short segment of bowel with the hope that it would then line itself with enough um, absorptive lining that it would again recover some, uh, some function. So there are, there are gut uh, lengthening procedures. There are also procedures to try and uh, limit the uh, very rapid flow that often occurs through segments of of bowel, um, but it's they're really attempting to use whatever is left and try and and, uh, and optimize it, and it works certainly for a, a, a group of children. But they are a, a large group of children where they are not able to to sustain um, normal nutrition. At the moment, uh, uh, there's no ideal treatment for short bowel syndrome. Uh, there are two options in reality. Uh, one is to use parental nutrition, that is uh, a way of giving nutrition through the vein instead of uh, giving it to the bowel. And, uh, and that get absorbed directly in the circulation and then processed by the liver. Uh, this nutrition is uh, very handy and works very well for short term. But in the long term, uh, it's going to cause problems in your body, particularly on the liver. So liver failure is a common uh, problem in patients that have long-term parental nutrition. The other option, alternative to that, uh, is uh, to use transplantation. So to transplant uh, a bowel from a cadaver, so a cadaver organ get transplanted into your body, uh, in order to replace the intestine that you have lost. However, the intestine is mainly a lymphatic organ, so it's very difficult to transplant it between different individuals, because it's easy for this bowel to get rejected. So organs such as kidney or heart may have better results in long term uh, for transplantation, but the bowel remain a big challenge. We do have the ability to feed these children artificially, right? So to all intents and purposes, they would look like very normal children. But hidden underneath all of this is actually a really, really devastating condition. Um, about 30% of the children in certain conditions that I treat will die. 
they will die within their their childhood and it can be a sudden uh, a sudden death it's not always a, a long standing issue so what i would say is that look beneath the 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 outside uh, for these for these kids i think they do have a a, a bright future and i i'm really honored and proud to be part of a collaboration that uh, actually takes on one of the most challenging groups of uh, of conditions uh, forward